Hello everybody, my name is Diana and welcome to Diana Simplifies. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to be doing a collaboration, if I can ever get it together. I've tried to film this twice now, so this would be number three. I'm doing a collaboration with some other women. It's called Tiny Tidy, and it's a Tuesday thing. So Tuesday Tiny Tidy. And it's gonna be a collaboration with some other women if I can ever get it uploaded, finished and uploaded. Okay, so yesterday in my video, I did a Dollar Tree video and I talked about a few other things. It was just sort of a mishmash, I said. And one of the things I mentioned was I was going to show you for Tiny Tidy, Tiny Tidy, I was going to show you um, tidying up my kitchen table because it's uh, what um, Fly Lady would call a hot spot where it's sort of a dumping ground. Um, if we do deal with our mail usually when it comes in, but if my husband does get some magazines, I'll get some magazines over by him. He'll have a pile of magazines. I'll have a couple magazines over by me. So, and then there were just some piles of paper that just need to be dealt with. I had been out of town and I had not been dealing with the bills. I had just been laying them there for him to look at and he doesn't really put them away. He sort of expects me to put them away. And I have, I've shown you before my, my home management binder. And so I won't go into a lot of detail, but I have the bills in these little um, plastic protectors. I, if I open this, it has a lot of personal information. So obviously I cannot show you that because of safety issues, but it's just a, I think it's a one inch binder. It's got the, you know, in the middle, the, the three prongs. And then I added the, um, the plastic protectors. And then I just, it's, you know, you can put two, you put one facing one way and one bill facing the other way. So as you flip, you've got um, two bills in each plastic protector. So I got, while I was working on that yesterday, I had actually filmed it and there were issues with what I had filmed. Somehow when I was filming it, I was, instead of showing what I was doing at the time, I was showing my cat who was sitting right next to me and somehow the camera had veered over. Instead of showing this, it was like veering over and showing him. So as I was watching it back, I said, uh, I, I cannot post this, this is crazy. Why was the camera on him the whole time? So I guess I thought I was filming whatever was in front of me and it was going off to the side, very strange. The whole thing was bizarre, but I just had to delete. So basically I did clean the table off. I put all the bills in here that need to be put in here. I paid some bills yesterday after I had made the video that I had to delete. And so I'm just gonna go through basically what I did. So I had, these were my couple of magazines and I went through these and, and if there's something in here I need, I'll just tear it out and throw this away. There was nothing in here, so I, that is going to throw away pile. This Tennessee magazine has some beautiful things in it and it had one article of interest that I did tear out. It had to do with um, an archeological place that is not that far from us and it's a state park and I wanted to possibly visit there because it's only about an hour, maybe an hour and a half away. So I did tear those pages out so now I can get rid of this. There was nothing else in there that I particularly needed and I will show you um, if I can find it here. Yes, the Heights of History, Pinson Mounds State Archeological Park. This is not far from us, it is an Indian, um, it's Indian Mounds. And I have been there before, it's been a long time, but they're having some sort of um, um, archeological get together type of thing for a couple, I don't know what it's called, it's a thing, for a couple days in, I believe they said September. So I, I tore this out because I wanted to look into this. I'm gonna look it up online and see exactly what's involved, see if we wanna go then, or maybe just go when there's not so many people there. But um, anyway, it's just an interesting thing that's not far from us that I thought we could do. And every month they highlight a state park. And if you wanna see, we're in West Tennessee, which is not mountainous. This is Roan Mountain State Park in East Tennessee. If you wanna see uh, the difference in the state, where we live, it's almost completely flat. And in East Tennessee, it's absolutely beautiful mountains. So um, who knows, someday I might get to Roan Mountain State Park. So I did tear this out of a different month. And so that's just been sort of sitting in my pile as well. So I'm gonna to have to find up sort of a place for this. But anyway, I am keeping that. Um, I also had a couple of masks sitting on the table in plastic bags. They both need to be washed, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, okay, this was my husband's stuff. This was something I had found uh, laying around the house. I need to ask him if he's keeping this because I'm not even sure it still works. Uh, somebody had given him a business card, so I need to ask him about that. He has some papers he needs to deal with. Again, I can't show because of uh, personal information that is on there. And then he has his rifleman and his 
conceal carry and he probably wants to keep at least one of these so I just I'm gonna ask him about these we do sit at the table and then have our magazines just sort of sitting there so that's part of our piles that are sitting around so that's his pile that I will discuss with him and then I my bathroom has been stacked to the ceiling as well when I was getting ready to go out of town I, things were just stacking up stacking up and then of course packing uh, everything was just sort of an upheaval and I've got so much stuff sitting around I'm really not able to um, normally I just move everything off to clean and I've had so much junk sitting around and it's the funny thing is this entire stack of papers that was sitting on my um, bathroom counter every single thing here needs to be thrown away except this one little partial Walmart list of stuff that I'd completely forgotten I needed and it was sitting there um, in this pile of junk so all of this, this is just little, little scrap paper that I write on. Uh, some other things that are in here are um, just tags off clothes. I have no idea why I was keeping, I had several tags off clothes, it was crazy. Here was another one. I got a, a Via shirt for $4 on clearance. Um, I don't need any of that. I had some church bulletins. Those are actually, I just, um, those just got there. That was from Sunday. But anyway, this whole pile, except for this one little sheet of paper, is going in the trash. So I'm going to um, going to do that right. Whoops, I'm going to do that right now. Actually, this this our daily bread book. I think our church wants those back if we're not using them. I think they're giving them to other churches to use because these things aren't free. You know, they're free to us to pick up. But so I'll put that in my pile to um, distribute it. And then of course that little piece of my list. Now, the other thing I had sitting around different places, there were several books in my bathroom. I do not know why because I'm not reading them, but I had this pile of books. I found some of these in a cabinet that I didn't even realize I still had them. I go to the little free library, those little cabinets you see around towns. Maybe you have one where you live, and I'll go, and I don't know why because I really don't read anymore. I used to be an avid reader, and now I'm a little bit hyper, so I don't do tons of reading, but I picked all these books up at different times. I do think I want to go ahead and keep this one because it's a kitty cat book and it has really big print. I think this is something I could run through quickly and read, so I haven't started yet though, so who knows. But I am going to keep that for a while. The rest of these, I'm going to ask my friend who likes to read if she wants any of these and if she doesn't want them, I'll just put them back into the little free library where I got them. So I'm going to be getting those out of the house. And one other thing was sitting in the floor of my kitchen. Um, my, my same friend who likes to read, she had given me, I'd asked her about this because she has a, she has this right here sitting on her kitchen table and it looks completely real. It does not look like fake flowers and it's also very expensive. It's around a hundred dollars, but I thought about maybe giving my mom that because my mother loves flowers, but then she's always saying she doesn't want stuff sitting around. So I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm going to give her that, especially because it's so expensive because she doesn't want something sitting around. I don't want to spend a hundred dollars on it and then the other thing she gave me this has been like sitting literally in my floor this bag in the floor of my kitchen for over a month over a month because I cleaned for this lady once a month and I, sh I should have gone yesterday and I had to push her off a week because sunshine need a vet visit so this is one of those things you can put your spices on and stack it she gave me this and she had given me a um, lazy Susan and I'm, I'd been wanting some lazy Susans and I hadn't gone out and bought them and she, she was decluttering, so she gave me one of the Lazy Susans that she had. Um, my mom had given me a Lazy Susan, so I had already worked on my spices, but I do think I want to go ahead and use this. So I've got to redo the whole Lazy Susan situation and see if I want to do it this way instead, which I think I probably do. I do like this step idea, so we'll see. But this had just been sitting, this and the, the Petals magazine had just been sitting in this plastic bag in the floor. Uh, of my kitchen for a month so this is just kind of stuff that you bring in it just sits around and you know why is it sitting there we don't we don't have a lot of company so um, I'm not rushing around you know worried about constantly tidying up I should be because I would like a tidy house but I <laughs> but anyway so this was my quick tiny tidy and I did oh one other thing Sorry, I forgot this. I did have one other thing. I had some cards, some of my um, Valentine's cards. I had them, they were on the table and I needed to do something with them. This one was from my husband. I gave him this one and my parents 
gave me this look that this I'm not this tan obviously but this sort of resembles me with the long hair this looks like Ranger and this looks like one of my kitties so my parents gave me this card so I'm not huge on sentimental items and not being able to get rid of stuff but I do like to keep my cards and I don't scrapbook or anything like that so I just put my cards in a I get a big shoe box like this and just hang on to them and I do actually look at them from time to time so I do have a lot in here it brings back good memories just to sit sit down and look at my cards and go through them and you know I do end up getting rid of some of those as I go through them again but right now I'm going to keep these and I think I have a whole nother box in fact I may have two shoe boxes but that's okay it's okay to have two or three shoe boxes of cards I'm all right with it um so anyway that is my tiny tidy for today I hope you'll join me and the other ladies on Tuesdays there will be a playlist as soon as I figure out how to get that post it down in the description box. I will do that. The first thing I have to do is figure out how to schedule this. So <laughs> I'm going to watch this back, schedule it for 1 p.m. Central, and supposedly it's all going to go from there. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks so much for joining me. Love you guys. I hope this is giving you motivation to do a tiny tidy of your own and maybe just get some of your clutter. If you've got some paper clutter or things lying around, maybe just get some of your piles um, taken care of as well. Hopefully you don't have as many piles as I had. I have several hot spots as Fly Lady would call them. I have the kitchen table, I had the bathroom counter, and then I had an area under the cabinet in the TV where all those books were, several of those books were, and I didn't even realize they were in there. So I was looking for some different paperwork that was in there and I was like, what's with these books? <laughs> what is with these books? Where'd they come from? Oh yes, I picked them up at the little free library. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.